Hi everybody, welcome back to Scrappy Adam and welcome to day 16 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life and the Dotty About Flair prompts. This is today's sketch which was designed exclusively by Janet Fritz aka Galaxy Girl Creations here on YouTube exclusively for this series and I love this. So we've got a pattern paper background, a large heart or shape with two photos, some journaling, and then three distinct embellishment clusters. Today's prompt on the Dotty About Flare prompts is, as we can see here, journaling. So we'll see how well I do on that one, because as we know, I'm not very good at journaling on my pages. So when I look at this, I see the large shape. Now, I didn't want to use a heart, so I'm going to use a cut file, which is from, I think, Scrapping Reflections from Sandy. And I'm also not using two photos, I'm using one. I'm replacing one with a 3x4 cut apart card. That's the plan, let's see if I do it. So I'm using a different collection for me today. I'm using Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Lemon Twist. Now I have used this a little bit, it's not my usual style. And I will admit, I did first pull out Weathered Garden. And I was flicking through it thinking what I could use I had this cut file in mind, but it what I wasn't heart set. Start again. My heart wasn't set on it, so I would have been quite happy to use something else, and it just wasn't speaking to me. And it's one of those collections that I'm now sat here wondering why did I get that? It's not my style. I love the foam stickers in there, as I love all of Simple Stories foam stickers. Apart from that, I don't really like it. So I think that needs to either be sold on, passed on, give away something anyway that said blooming post isn't that great at the moment um yeah it's a headache anyway i am using simple vintage lemon twist and i'm using the sunshine and lemonade paper which is this gorgeous one so this is the a side whatever you want to call it a side but i'm using the b side which is this distressed yellow and it's got some black marks on it and it's very distressed and grungy and dirty and i am going to use that and i'm using this cut file which as i say i believe is from scrapping reflections i'm sure i got it when i got some 12 by 12 stencil from sandy's shop if it isn't i do apologize um however i don't want these bits here which i know is crazy I just, I wanted the shape, so we've got the heart on the sketch from Janet, but I wanted a big shape, so I really wanted these, and I'm too lazy to go and cut another one, let's face it, too busy, too busy packing, so I've just gone ahead and used the circle. So my first job is to snip a bit of it off here, so I'm going to snip off there, there, and there. I know it's bad Adam for doing that to that gorgeous cut file, but I am of the mind, get it used, don't hoard it. If you're not gonna use it as is, make it work for you. As I said, I'm only using one photo and it's this gorgeous photo, if I do say so myself, of Sinead. Look at that, with a little pour up at the front door looking right at me. It's gorgeous. She is such a sweetie. So I am gonna use this photo and I need to figure out how to get it in so I think we're going to do something like that but I'm covering and making everything different I'm then going to add this there for my little piece of journaling so let's go ahead and get that done I'm not going to map my photo today because I don't want to no other reason really okay Let me just fold these bits in here. I have taped to the corner because I don't want the corners of the photos catching. And obviously I should first stick the cut file down. That would be helpful. So I'm going to use some Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and I'm just going to go around and add a bit here and there. I'm not going to glue all of it as long as I've got quite a bit on. That'll do. Okay. Da, 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 da. There we go. So I'm just going to go around and do that. 
pop a bit more there and here. It's going to be quite a quick layout really. The cut file is going to do a lot of the work for me, but I do want to add a few embellishments. So, cut file is going to go down about here, I think, yeah. So let's pop that there. Probably could have done with it going up a bit, but that's not a problem. Photo is going to go here. Yeah, it definitely needed to come round. So I'm going to put the photo there and then we'll figure out something to put up there, guys. It's not an issue. I'm not worried at all. So this is from the 3x4 cut apart sheet and I'm just going to pop that there. And then this is from the ephemera pack. I think it's from the Bits and Bobs. <laughs> it's not called Bits and Bobs, is it? Bits and Pieces. I think it should be called Bits and Bobs, but it's not. Okay, so then that's going to go there like so. Now, I probably need to put a bit of adhesive there. Rather than being lazy, as I usually am. Bit there. And a bit there. There we go. Doesn't have to be anything much. It's just to get that little bit tacky down. There we go. So that's the base of our layout done. It's a super duper design from Janet, which we knew it would be because Janet is awesome. If you've not watched her Galaxy Curl, Ga Galaxy Girl Creations channel, then please do head over because you will not be disappointed. Okay, then I have pulled out some ephemera pieces. As I said, this collection is so far out of my comfort zone, it's in America. But I'm determined to use it up. And I thought, it, this collection just spoke to me with this photo of Sinead, so here we are. Now, I am going to, what do I want to add in here? Uh, maybe this, mm, no. Ooh, what shall we add in? Ooh, that works perfectly, I'm gonna add that. This is another bits and pieces. That's gonna go over there. So I wanna cover that little error of mine. I wonder if I can actually snip it a little bit. That'll just make that bit a little bit easier to get in there. So then that can go there. Okie dokie, that works perfect. I have pulled out a few other pieces of ephemera. I don't know if I'm gonna use them. I did think a couple of butterflies though. She's outside, it kind of works, doesn't it really? Okay. Okay, let's there, and then let's pop a little puffy a foam dot there. Let's have a look. Okay, so I'm going to put one there I think I quite oh yeah I really like how that looks and then let's pop this one there no actually have I just messed that up oh no not entirely let's pop that one there Okay, du, du, du. as I said, this is going to be quite a simple, quick, easy layout because of the cut file. The cut file really does do all the work. 
I do want to use this. This says Sweet Life, and I think that sums up the picture quite nicely because she made such a happy little girl. She's so sweet, and it therefore works. So I'm going to layer that there. Do, 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 do. Right, and I did think, although I have stuck that there, about using this up there, so I don't know if that's going to work now. No, I don't think we need that there. Ooh. Oh, guys, I'm going to put that there. I didn't think that would look good there. Okay. I love these banner stickers, but it's another thing. All I seem to be saying lately is I struggle with that. I struggle with that. Okay, I'm going to use this happy as my title, which is going to go just here. I am going to do some journaling now before I get happy. Okay, so. Bear with me one second. Okay, so I've just put about Sinead being a happy girl running around wagging her tail and such. Then we do have an empty little thing up here. So, is there anything we want to get on? I'm not, see I pulled the lemon out as well, thinking, oh, that'll work. But it just seems a bit daft. Why do we put lemons on our pages? Okay, maybe not today. I do have another butterfly here. Is that too many? No, let's stick another one. Quite like, I quite like the idea of the butterfly sort of racing around the cut file. Because if she could, that's what Sinead would be doing. We've got that. On the sticker sheet, we do have a couple more butterflies, so I'm wondering if we could maybe get those in just to add to that. And now, I have this up here, which is this lemon, and I'm now going to take this one up as well. I'm wondering if that would work there quite like that so let's do that and we're not far I'm pretty much done I think super simple but I do like it it's not my favorite because it's not my favorite collection it was but it isn't anymore I'm gonna put a couple of bees on as well just because she just come in from outside she'd wanted to go in but she didn't want to miss out what was happening outside so she decided to stay on the doorstep, <laughs> as she does. Okay, so pop them in there. I do have other embellishments. I have the frames, which obviously I'm not going to use, and I have the layered and threads. I love this. I keep forgetting to use that on a layout. Let's pop a couple of brads around here. Now, I was going to use a flare around this cut file, which would have been ideal. But I haven't, and I'm not going to attempt to now, purely because I think it's it's, it's just right now. So I don't want to force the flare just for the sake of it. Okay. Then I wonder if we could maybe get one more butterfly on here. Okay, and I think that's going to do it, guys. I'm really happy with how that's turned out. I've got my journaling there. should date it as well, actually. Do, 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 do. Let's date it um, down here. So this was 12th. Okay. So this one won't be a high score of Ron Calvin Ball, but I'll have a few. So I've got a 3D sticker, layered sticker, um, 
and I've got butterfly and I've got B and I've dated my project, I've got journaling, etc. But it won't be a high scorer, but that's okay, because I have had a few 35, 40 scorings. But I am quite happy with that. That is my layout for day 16 of 30 Days of Sketches and the Dotty About Flare prompts. Thank you so much, Christy, for all your hard work in putting this series together. And thank you all of you for watching and being here with me. I really appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow for day 17 as we hurtle towards the end. Until then, pop down below to the description box and pop along to other people's channels. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.